Hello, Resurrection. It's June the 26th. Y'all, I don't know what we're doing wrong. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we're on top of uh, a sacred burial ground or something here at the church. But there was a fire last week and there was a, a, a gas leak uh, yesterday, uh, which has probably been going on for a while. Several folks have told me that they have uh, smelled it in the last week or so. I'm usually pretty good at that and I never smelled it. Uh, but there there was a, a, a gas leak. So we've yeah, we've had the, our gas turned off on us and they're repairing that. It's just been one thing after another here lately with air conditioners and water heaters and, and, and everything else. But I think I think we're on track to get everything repaired and taken care of. You, you know, I told you in church on Sunday that it, it could be Labor Day, Labor Day uh, before the uh, the AC is fixed in the parish hall. But Chris Teal and Charlie Brush and Mike McKenna have all jumped in uh, and they have uh, temporary portable uh, AC units hooked up in the, the parish hall. And it's, you know, it's not icy cold in there, but it's, cer it's certainly bearable, right? It's, it's not, it's not uh, impossible to be in there uh, at all. And I'm so grateful to them. You know, when the church is in need, uh, people just sort of come out of the woodwork that you didn't, uh, you didn't know or expect uh, and, um, and help solve problems. And I appreciate that a great deal. Uh, you know, the, everybody's been so concerned about uh, everything that we need to get all the repairs done. And I'm, I'm so grateful to that. Thanks so much. You know, somebody else who has been, uh, who has been just uh, loyal and good to this parish for a long, long time is Dr. Hildegard Cox. Hildegard has been with us for years and years, uh, certainly longer than I've been uh, at, at Resurrection. And I'm, I'm coming up on what, eight or nine, I'm coming up on nine years. Before, can, can you believe that? Coming up on nine years before long. And Hildegard was here when I, I got here. And, uh, you know, I want to tell you a, a, a little story about her and, and her loyalty to this parish. But she was, she was hired years ago when the parish was uh, was at a, a different level uh, than it uh, than it that it was uh, later on in her in her tenure here, and uh, she came on board and jumped right in, and she uh, you know she got a handbell choir started and has been so loyal with the um, with the choir, kind of uh, kind of helped lead our uh, campaign for a new organ and all sorts of things. The parish fell on hard times when uh, when Hildegard was here before I arrived. And as far, as far as I know from the stories that I hear, they, they cut Hildegard's salary in half because they couldn't afford to pay her and she stayed with the parish. And then uh, a little later, the hard times had not gone away and they cut her salary back again, uh, again, because they they were having trouble, the parish was having trouble paying the bills, and she stayed uh, through that, loyally working as hard as she could, as she has the whole time uh, that, I've, that I've known her. And if there's anybody who has been more loyal to this parish, I, I, I don't know who it is who has been more loyal. A lot of you have been as loyal, but I don't know anybody that's been more loyal than Hildegard has been. Uh, and she, I tell her all the time, and I tell everybody who will listen, that Hildegard is a dream to work with. She will try anything, any harebrained idea that I've got, whether it will work or not, she's game to give it a shot. She has, we, we have never bumped personalities for a, a minute. She is just a dream to work with. And, and my wife, Kim, reminds me all the time that I could be an organist's worst nightmare because I know just enough about it to be annoying. Uh, to a to a professional musician, and uh, and I I want to say publicly how much I appreciate what she has done for this parish, how much I love her, and how much I wish her all the best in the world in her retirement, and hope uh, with my whole heart that she will just stay right here uh, with us. Now she's Hildegard's going to be in demand, and so it may be that she can spend her retirement helping smaller parishes or, well, I mean, even bigger parishes, but helping fill the gap uh, that there is in talented musicians all across the, the country. So I, you know, I don't think we'll have her all the time, but I want this to always be her home. 
uh, if she's comfortable with that. And I, and I know that you all feel the same way too. She is beloved to us and we owe her a great deal of thanks, of, of gratitude. So uh, Hildegard has decided that her last Sunday will be July the 21st. Now we, we have called a new organist uh, and, and there will be more about that uh, later, you know, watch for that announcement before long. But for now, uh, I think the best thing for us to do is to celebrate Hildegard Cox and her time with us and thank her uh, the best way we know how for what she has done, uh, the, the just wonderful, uh, marvelous things that she has done for this parish. So on July the 21st, we are all going to pile into the parish hall. I hope the air conditioner will be fixed by then, but if not, we'll have it as cool as we can make it. We will, we will pile into the parish hall on July the 21st after the 1030 service, and we will have a potluck, uh, and we'll have a potluck in honor of Hildegard Cox and her ministry in God's church, uh, lo, these many years. And uh, we have some things that we'd like to present to her, and we want to celebrate her and thank her and honor her in that pot. Like I hope that her family will be able to join us uh, then and we can show her how much that we love her and she has meant to us. So you all stay tuned for more announcements about the music program. Put that on your calendar, July the 21st after the 1030 service, a potluck lunch in honor of Hildegard Cox and her ministry at Resurrection. And, uh, and be, thinking, uh, be thinking about some ways that you can show and tell Hildegard how much we appreciate what she's done for us. I love you so much. I will see you very soon.